Hi, everyone. What I want to go through with you today is some of the membership management pieces. I've, I've talked to a little bit about this, but I specifically want to talk about the statuses that somebody can be in in EasySpeak. And the reason that I want to talk about that is because um, at least twice a year when you're getting renewals from your members, there's a period of time there where you're not sure if you if you have everyone has renewed or if they haven't uh, or if they are going to renew things like that um, and toastmasters.org and easyspeak are not integrated they're not integrated systems at all so once toastmasters.org is updated to show that a, a member has renewed you don't necessarily know that unless the treasurer has has told you that or at least has said I've sent in payments to toastmasters.org um, so for a VP of education in keeping track of who is actually a member and all that sometimes it requires a little bit of a conversation uh, so anyway I want to show you under the membership management over here on the left hand side edit member I've already done that and I've come over here and you can uh, for example you can see that uh, a few of our members uh, so I'm doing this today in November you can see that a few of our members, it's been a while since since they've been at meetings. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that they won't be coming back or, or anything like that, but um, one of the problems you run into, as I've alluded to in another video, is the fact that when you have supposedly an active member, they get picked up in the algorithm. So when you auto-assign roles in EasySpeak, people will um, their their names will get picked up if, if their uh, if their status is a member okay so I'm going to use Simone here as an example I'm gonna click on the little pencil icon and I do not know if she'll be renewing or not I have no idea but when I go over to the club panel here what I can do I could say that the member is inactive I could as a VP education or as an officer group you could decide okay if a person hasn't been around for for three months and you've tried to get in touch with them all that sort of stuff um, you could say all right let's just make the member inactive and so if I say yes that she's inactive then it will stop automatically allocating roles to Simone she won't be included in that algorithm so I'm going to go ahead and do that for her because I haven't seen her in a while and uh, that way she doesn't get auto assigned and so I could submit and save that now here eventually she's gonna pop right back to that screen so now that I'm back at that screen what you can see here is that Simone is still considered a member it's just that I have turned off the ability for her to be included in that auto assign algorithm which can be very useful because otherwise you could have somebody showing up in a role who just hasn't been coming to your meetings um, so I'm gonna go back into Simone's click on that little pencil icon I'm gonna go back to the club and look at some other statuses that we could have so for instance for example it could be a guest speaker or a special guest and we've had a few of those over the years um, you could also put visitors in here you could also put uh, something in here where you keep track of their email for a mailing list um, or past interests no email to be sent you can also place a person in an inactive member or a past member and if you start putting people into the past member it basically takes them off of the list it does not and I repeat it does not delete the member information so you could have a situation where you have people who have been a, a member before maybe a year ago two years ago six months ago whatever whatever the situation is and they may come back to the group and you know you may go out there you may not even know that they maybe you're a new member and you just don't know that they they were at one time a member of the group but those those details don't go away so once you put in an email address if it's the same one that they used before you they'll pop up and you just adopt them right back in um, if you know that they were a former member you can actually pull their information back and you just change this to they've become a member again and so then they'll show up they can you know get assigned to roles all that sort of thing so this status becomes really important and right now at least for this member I'm going to leave it as 
an inactive member so that there's no longer an auto assign for that person. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I am happy to help. I'm happy to help answer questions. It'll also give me an idea of the types of things that need to be in video format for this platform. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.